Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, the first thing I want to do is apologize for the lack of videos on my channel over the last month. I actually don't think I posted at all in February, which is unlike me, uh, but there was a variety of things going on. Um, first of all, my eczema was so bad. I was so mad at myself, at my skin, at my nails. It was just, it made me mad to look at my hands because my my skin would just not clear up. It's finally gotten to a point where it's almost cleared up. So I'm hopeful that it's gone, um, gone now. Usually this time of year, the winter, the dry air just makes my eczema worse for some reason. So um, that's one of the reasons I haven't been posting on my Instagram. I haven't been I was wearing polish, but I just really wasn't taking pictures of my hands because the eczema just really made me mad. Um, the other thing was my nails were just complete garbage because the eczema and the cream that I was using, it was making them break and um, yeah, I was getting mad at myself. So if you saw in a recent Instagram post on mine, I picked up um, a kit from Bio Seaweed Gel, who are a Canadian company, and I picked up um, this set to do at home gel nails. Uh, so I ordered that kit and I did my own gel nails, as you can see. I don't think they look that bad for a first attempt. They are quite thick on some of the nails. I have a lot of practicing to do on them. My first impression of that kit is not the greatest, but I think it has something to do with me because I'm not a nail tech. I've never done this before in my life. So I think there's just a learning curve. And I also think the lamp that I have is not strong enough. I only have a 24 watt lamp, um, so I have ordered a 48 watt lamp. I will try it and do these again and see if it was any better because this took me six hours. <laughs> and by the time I was done, it was like two o'clock in the morning and I was just mad. <laughs> I couldn't do my thumbs, it was just, Holding my thumb under the lamp like this and then holding my thumb under the lamp like this just it was uncomfortable so I just I just gave up on doing my thumbs. So my thumbs are still nubs. The rest of the nails I have these gel gel extensions on and I think they look I don't think they look that bad for a first time attempt at doing at home gel nails. I'll let you guys let me know if you think they look like crap. There's a couple of nails that aren't like this nail is like really, really um, tapered on one, <laughs> one side. Um, yeah, but by the, by the time I was done, I was just, ugh. And on my nails, by the way, is Tonic Ambrosia. And I just love this polish. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is available right now if you're interested in it. So there were three reasons I wanted to film this video. First reason being, obviously I wanted to apologize to you guys for not being around. I do want to say thank you to the people who reached out and asked if I was okay. I was, I'm fine. I was just having some issues in my personal life and my nails and um, I was having one of those like woe is me kind of a month, <laughs> if you want to know what I mean. Like everything just kind of seemed like it was going to get worse. And I was, I'm just, I was just down. I was down on myself, and I just didn't feel like pulling the camera out and talking to you guys. So just a little bit of, you know, you know how you get in the winter with all the blah weather. I was getting, I was a bit, a little bit depressed, a little bit depressed. So um, my good friend Debbie, as you know, she and I, well, we talk on a daily basis. We're texting back and forth on a daily basis. So. So Debbie knows what's been going on with me. She knows I've been a little bit down and uh, today a package arrived and there was this card in there. And in this card it says, I pray these blues will drive, will drive the blues away. So I'm assuming she sent me a care package of blue nail polishes. So I thought I would open them on camera. Debbie, thank you so much for this lovely card. It was just what I needed to perk me up and I can't wait to see what you sent me. So thank you so much um, 
for everything that you've done for me, for always being there when I need to rant or I need to complain <laughs> or if it, even if I need to celebrate something, you're always there uh, when I need you. So thank you so much, Debbie. Uh, so let's see what she sent me. So she sends this lovely little box. All I've done is open the top. I haven't opened anything inside. So let's just see what she has sent me. But it doesn't look like they're all blue polishes because this is quite bright. I think she was talking about these on her Instagram. This is a Jessie's Girl. I don't own any Jessie's Girls and this is called Baby Cakes. Look at how bright pink that is. Beautiful for the spring sum and summer. Hopefully we'll get to the point where we can pull out some sandals soon and I can paint my toes because I'm sick of wearing boots to work every day. I really am. Oh, another Jessie's Girl and this one is just as bright. This one is called Beach Baby. So, can see how much brighter this one is compared to this one. I say this one's got a more of an orangey tone to it, and this is more of a bright, bright pink. This, okay. Oh, it's a sinful colors, and this is called Sucker Punch. Are you trying to tell me something with this one, Debbie? Because there's somebody I'd love to suck up, sucker punch, and I think you know who it is. <laughs> one of the rants I had with Debbie, she knows who I'd like to sucker punch. So <laughs> this is this lovely red, and it's got like a silver shimmer going on in here. I'm not really picking it up in the camera, but there's a silver shimmer going on in there. So that's Sinful Colors Sucker Punch. This next one is a pure ice and it's called Periwinkle in Time. And this is lovely for spring. Look at that beautiful periwinkle. I love these. I love these types of creams in the spring. Just nice pastel creams. So pretty. So I will be definitely be rocking this in the next couple of months. Excuse me, I have to answer that. Sorry about that. That was my mother. <laughs> it is my parents' 42nd wedding anniversary today. So they were just calling me back because I had called them to say happy anniversary. Anyway, back <laughs> to this lovely package from Debbie. This is another pure ice, which I'm excited for because I can't get pure ice in Canada anymore for some reason. And this is called He's My Squeeze. I'm assuming this is a Valentine's Day polish maybe? So let's look at that blue kind of flash going through. This lovely purple base. Very pretty. Thank you, Debbie. There's lots in here. She likes to spoil me. <laughs> but I do have something on my way to Deb Debbie right now, so. And I hope she likes it because I think it's one of her lemmings. Ooh, this one's pretty. This is a Salon Perfect, and it's called Frolic With Me. This lovely, lovely bright bluish purple very pretty. I do like the Salon Perfect line. They're hard to get here. We can get some of them, the older ones, but the newer ones are harder to get. This is one that she had posted on her Instagram and I said, oh my goodness, by the time this arrives in Canada um, for me to purchase, I'll be 50. <laughs> so she sent it to me. This is called Coming In Hot and it's a holographic finish. See the hollow there? Uh, it's like a light baby blue holographic. I don't know why OPI China Glaze will not jump on the holographic bandwagon. I mean, come on. Salon Perfect's doing it. You guys can do it too. And there is a whole bunch of older OPIs that were holographics. Like, I don't understand. It, holographic is so hot right now. It's so in. Why are they not doing a holographic collection? I don't understand. So this is Coming In Hot from Salon Perfect. Another Salon Perfect, and this one is Ride the Heat Wave. And this is more of a darker blue, kind of a blurple even. It's very pretty. So that's Ride the Heat Wave. Another Sinful Colors, this is called Shock Candy. And it's kind of like a mauve pinky purple cream. It's very, very pretty too. This one is called Blues Cruise. Nice 
bluish, another blurpily blur color from Sinful Colors. And the last one in this package, wrapped up very, very well. I don't think she wanted me to get into this one. <laughs> oh, here we go. Another Sinful Colors, and this is Holla At You Boy. I've seen this one on Instagram. This looks absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of reminiscent of Endless Blue. It's kind of like an in-between between Endless Blue and Blue La La. Kind of like the in-between color between the two. Very pretty and very, very appropriate for this time of year, if you ask me. So Debbie, thank you so much for sending me this lovely gift. You really didn't have to do that but I appreciate that you did. I put a huge smile on my face this morning when it arrived and I really wanted to open it right then and there, but I'm like, no, I need to film a video. I have not filmed in forever. I need to film a video. So this was the, the first thing that, this was really my first time I felt like filming. I haven't really felt like filming in a long time. I'm just down by myself, so. Before we go, I do have a couple of polishes that I picked up this past weekend. I have been really doing really, really well with my no buying mainstreams. I have done really, really well. The only mainstream polish before this that I had picked up was Frostbite. I found it on a clearance rack, so I grabbed it while I was there uh, because I've been wanting that one for a while. But my friend sent me a text message on the weekend saying, Winners has halo hues. So I basically bribed my kids with lunch. I said, if we get, if we could get in the car with me now, go to the store, I will take you to McDonald's for lunch. <laughs> um, because my husband was working, so I was just me home with the kids. So we got in the car, went to Winners, and I picked up six of the um, Color Club Halo Hues. I am so happy with these, I really am. Uh, when I buy them from Nail Polish Canada, I think they're about $12 a bottle. And at um, Winners, they were six. They're $5.99. So for half price, I was very, very happy. I managed to get all six for about $40 with tax. So I was very, very happy with that. So we'll show you these ones first. This first one is Miss Bliss. And it's a pinky holographic. Just look at the hollow in that. I love these white halo hues. I only had two of them before this. And again, if Color Club could do this, why can't OPI and China Glaze do this? Like obviously mainstream brands can do this. So, so that is Miss Bliss. This next one is called Date with Destiny. And it's like got a purplish tinge to it with the holographic. Very, very pretty and subtle for spring. It's gorgeous. So that is Date with Destiny. This one is called Just My Luck and it kind of has like a greenish tinge, but I don't, can you see the green in there? I don't think you're really seeing it. It's very, very, very pale green with the holographic. So that's Just My Luck. This one is called Over the Moon, and it's a lovely blue. The holographic in these just blows my mind every time. This one is Harp on it. I've heard a lot of things about Harp on it. I think this is just purely a silver holographic, but again, very pretty. And the last one I picked up because I'm pretty sure I've heard Claire talk about this one. This one's called Angel Kiss and it's a green holographic. So pretty. So other than those ones and Frostbite, those are the only mainstream polishes I have purchased this year. I have been keeping my indie purchases very, very low as well. I have been purchasing, I'm not gonna lie, I have been buying a couple things like Tonic Ambrosia I picked up and I picked up a couple other tonics as well um, but I'm trying to keep it to a minimum because I'm saving for Indie Expo and that's where this comes in I found this at the dollar store and um, I'm keeping all of my money for Indie Expo in here some, some money in there 
And anytime I have some extra cash or if I have change, if I have any change, it goes right here because I don't like carrying change. So any change will go right here and anything, if I have an extra $20 bill or whatever, I'll just throw it in here too. So I think there's about $200 in here right now. Speaking of mini expo, tickets go on sale today, Sunday, March the 4th. Uh, so if you are interested in, in attending Indie Expo, um, you can buy your tickets as of today. They go on sale at 9 a.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna leave a link in the description bar here to Eventbrite for the uh, to purchase them. Uh, pricing again is very very reasonable. It's the same as it was last year. So I'm just gonna go over the ticket pricing for you uh, again. The VIP package, which comes with the VIP bag, uh, is $75. That includes the VIP bag that comes with up, um, approximately $100 worth of product inside the, um, the bag. There's also the VIP bundle, which basically gives you the VIP bag plus two admittances. So if you're going with somebody, you want the VIP bag, they don't, that's probably the best package for you. Um, they also have the early access. The VIP people get to go in at um, one o'clock, the early access people get to go in at um, 2 o'clock. Those tickets are $30. Regular general admission is $20 and you can go in as of 3 o'clock. And then if you're taking one of your kids with you, any, anybody 12 and under is $10. So pricing, again, is very, very reasonable. It's at the same place it was last year, which is the Hyatt Regency downtown Toronto, and it's happening on June the 10th. So like I said, if you're interested in, in Indie Expo, it's going, the tickets are going on sale. If you want VIP, I would not recommend sitting on them because I think they're gonna go very, very fast this year. Um, I will be wake, I'll be awake at nine o'clock on the dot on Sunday morning and buying my ticket. Um, I also have some more news about Indie Expo that I'm going to talk to you in another video. Very, very exciting, but I can't say anything more about it right now. Some of you have guessed. Margaret Yoder, you have guessed. <laughs> so um, I'm very excited to go to Indie Expo, not just to see all the polishes and buy all the polishes, but because of who I'm going to get to experience it with. Coming up very soon, I will tell you very, very soon. Thank you so much for sticking with me over my little hiatus, my unplanned hiatus. I was kind of drained and I just needed a little bit of time to myself because of everything else that was going on. It was just, it just needed that break. So I'm hopefully gonna be back to my normal scheduling of uploading on a Sunday. That is the way I've been doing it before. Hopefully I'll have some extra videos for you here and there, uh, but definitely, Fingers crossed going forward, there'll be videos for you on Sunday. Um, and Sunday is coming going forward. Again, if you have any ideas for videos, let me know down below. I do have a couple of collabs coming up um, and things like that. So if, but like I said, if you have any ideas for videos or if you have anything that you'd like to see, I would like to film them for you. Um, somebody requested a long time ago for me to do my top 10 tonics. If that's something that you're interested in, let me know. My tonic collection has grown quite significantly compared to this time last year. This time last year I had no tonics. <laughs> um, so I have quite a few tonics now and some of them are absolutely gorgeous. Spoiler alert, this one would be on my top 10 for sure. Um, but if you'd like to see that video, let me know. Or if you'd like to see any other, any other top 10s, let me know in the um, comments down below. I I promised you I was going to start my top 10 color series again. That is still coming. I've just been waiting for my skin to clear up on my hands so I can paint my nails. That's the only problem. If they're, if my hands are broken out and I'm taking polish off and putting polish on, taking polish off, putting polish on, it just aggravates my eczema and um, makes it even worse. And that's not what I want. But it's been so bad to begin with. I've been trying to heal it like there's still a little bit on this finger here this is a paper cut I did that at work yesterday uh, my thumbs are cleared up now almost it's just really this one finger that I'm still having 
a little bit of an issue with right here. So like I said, I'm hoping to get this cleared up and I'm gonna try and do the gel nails again. I did attempt to film this for you when I was doing it on Saturday last week. Um, but after two hours had elapsed and I had done one nail, I'm like, people are not gonna wanna sit through a six hour time lapse of me doing my nails. So I, I just turned off the camera. I was, I was so frustrated by that point that I just couldn't uh, film it. But if I get better at it and quicker at it, I may do a quick film filming of it. I'm still reserving judgment on this until I can try it again a couple of times and then I'll do a in-depth review because I figured if I still I'm not impressed after two or three tries then I obviously don't like the product so I will let you know keep you updated on this system it wasn't a very it wasn't a bad price the package was $70 and you got the dual forms the pot of gel and the brush and uh, for Chinese New Year, they had a 20% off 50 um, coupon code. So if you spend over 50 bucks, you could use that. So I, that brought the package down to $50. And then their free shipping kicks in at $50. So for, I think, $56 with the taxes is what I paid for the set. And you get quite a lot of gel in the little pot. It's like, I think it's like a three ounce pot of the gel so it would last for a while I think on the package it says 40 nails I think so like I said I'm gonna reserve judgment but I don't think I did that bad of a job for my first time I really don't and some of the nails are just really really thick though like this nail is really really thick look how thick that is but like I said, I'm not an L-Tech. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because um, it's been a long time since I filmed and I like to ramble. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for everything. I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.